What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Draft 2 Glory. 25 draft wins in 49 entries. We are going all guns blazing right now, so I can't wait for my next first round exit. You guys smashed 6,000 likes two episodes ago. You smashed 5,000 likes in the last episode. Let's try and break that 5k barrier one more time. I appreciate you guys' support. I can't wait for ones to watch to come out on Friday. It's going to be awesome for draft, hopefully packing some of them and some good packs in general. So... Um, I'm going to go for the 4 3 2 1 again. I, I want to always give myself the best opportunity to win draft. And I feel like recently we've been winning a lot of draft because we've been doing so. We've been taking the best formation that offers us the best players. I know a lot of people are enjoying the 4 4 2 right now since people like Shells made it spectacularly famous at the, um, the Barcelona event. But although the 4 3 3 isn't bad and the 4 3 1 2 is a good formation, the 4 3 2 1 gives us the best opportunity just because it allows us to get Ronaldo and Messi team of the year cards straight off the bat. Well, actually, we're not even going to go for Messi team of the year. We're going to take that 95 striker Messi. So for the first time in a long time, I'm going to purposely turn away a team of the year card because uh, we've got other opportunities. Uh, that Dybala comes up all the time and he is fantastic. How many times do we legitimately get this Dybala card in our draft? So we've got two Argentinian boys there. They will now both get seven chemistry, no matter who else we put around this team. If we can also get 99 Cristiano Ronaldo here, I'll be so happy. We can't, but we get 93 Neymar or 93 Hazard. If we take Hazard, it's got a better chance of linking to De Bruyne or Kante, both Team of the Year cards. Neymar with that 5-star, five 5-star five is so good. And Hazard, if I remember correctly, doesn't have the greatest stamina. 86 stamina on him. 81 stamina on Neymar. Let's go with Hazard. Let's just give that stamina boost up there. So that's an insane attack to start things off with. Messi, Dybala, and Eden Hazard. I would love one or two of the team of the year midfielders. I seldom get them. We're going to take Pjanic, however. A good start to this uh, team. He obviously gets that strong link to Dybala. Four-star, four-star. Insane passing. Very strong dribbling. Not the greatest defending or physicals. Okay pace and okay long shots. Not too bad. And we're, we're really working into a pretty good team right here um could take fur fur and kessie are both very similar both very well rounded um kessie has six foot high high four star weak foot fur has six two medium low four star weak foot so it is really like which one would you prefer and i prefer <laughs> okay prefer i would prefer can i get one team of the year midfielder i never get the team of the year midfielders i always get the team of the year attackers i guess we'll go with pastore here he gets that Argentinian link, four star, four star as well. Gets a soft link into Dybala. Um, yeah, he's. I mean, he's just the best, regardless of who we take. We either take an 85 rated Argentinian or an 81 rated Argentinian. However, he's good enough to the point where if we get team of the year Danny Alves, that's good news. We don't. Could go with Serge Aurier or we could go with Hector Bellerin. Now, Serge Aurier has backbone, so he doesn't have the greatest pace. Bellerin has basic, so he gets a well-rounded boost. Uh, Danilo obviously gets uh, no links to anyone. I don't know, I'm thinking of something completely different. But yeah, Hector Bellerin is going to be our guy here. Hopefully we can get ourselves a team of the year, Sergio Ramos. No, but we go one better. We get 90-rated Rio Ferdinand. There we go. Gives good links now because Pastore and Bellerin will both get seven chemistry off the back of that Rio Ferdinand link. That is fantastic. Um, alternatively, I could put... Fur over there and get him on, get Bellerin on 10 chem. Let's see what we get as a next centre back. Um, choices, choices. Could go Pepe. Could go Varane. I think Varane's probably the logical choice here. I, I mean, company's not a bad choice. And he has a shadow chem style. He doesn't get the greatest pace. Like Varane's faster than uh, Varane with a hunter actually, but then Company has the defensive boost that Varane won't have. So that's tricky. Medium high six three. I probably would prefer the pace of Varane instead of the defensive capabilities of Company. I know that this might be a bad move for chemistry. We're gonna have to wait and see on that one. Um, we just do not get... I'm going to take Holivas there. Shadow card and very good. I know uh, Antunes gets a soft link in there. Hunter card though. Let's take Antunes. It looks like we're going for La Liga down the left-hand side. 
This is an okay team to start with. It's like needs a little bit of work here and there. Jose Reina doesn't work. Lopez, no. None of these guys work. We've got an English. Yeah, let's take Joe Hart. He'll get 10 chemistry. It's not a bad, it's not a bad start. We need to improve that midfield a little bit. I'm just gutted that we haven't seen a single team of the year card yet. I just want to pick up some team of the years. I want to put some blues in there and feel good about myself. Okay, that's much. Oh, do we take 90 David Silva? No, he doesn't change anything. He's just better than Fur. I'm going to take that 95 Neymar. Um, Neymar's going to go up in that left mid left wing spot. Pastore is going to come over. And that puts us up to 87 chemistry. That's good. That's very good. It's very, very, very good. And then we have Eden Hazard as obviously a good backup player. Brilliant. Um... It just, it just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. None of these guys are going into my team. We'll take whoever we want there. Next on the list. Uh, I guess Garcia could come in. That doesn't work, does it? Garcia just... Garcia does work, but doesn't work. As I say, he gets the same boost as Leroy Fur. Lanzini, better than Fur, potentially. Higher rated than Fur, Definitely. I don't care for any of these players really. We'll put Lanzini in. We lose one chem spot just because of the position, but we'll put Lanzini in because he's just so much better than Fur in terms of rating. Ooh. Now we've got our left wings. We've even got our strikers, but I could take Dries Mertens. I could start Dries Mertens. He would get, ooh, I could start Dries Mertens and Eden Hazard. I'm going to take Mertens just in case we get the right midfielder to put Hazard and Mertens in up front there. Definitely going to take Kyle Walker. That way I can take anyone in that midfield spot. He's better than Hector Bellerin anyway, and he gets a strong link to Ferdinand, which is going to mean that uh, no matter what, he'll get 10 chemistry, no matter who I put in that middle of the park. And on that note, we're also going to take Inform Ter Stegen. I tell you what, guys, this, this team's starting to come along. It's starting to get there. We need a couple more decent players here. I would love a team of the year defender... It doesn't look like it's coming. Um, none of these guys are going to be in the team, so we'll go for the highest rated. This is it. This is the last last spot for us. We're just we're just not getting the luck. We're just not getting that luck. Nacho Monreal with a catalyst, not really. Mauro Rui with a backbone, probably a little bit better, but doesn't actually get any links to anyone, so that's going to be pretty trash. Let's just take uh, Monreal for the rating again. It's, the defence isn't bad, it's just the left back. The chemistry's... A bit, oh, finally, there we go. KDB, he's in. He's in, boys. We're there. KDB pops in. Now, now, we're going to put Hazard back in. Neymar's going to come out. We're going to pop Dries Mertens up front. And then Kevin De Bruyne is going to go into the middle of the park there. That puts us to 90 chemistry, like so. And now that Nacho Monreal is actually going to be huge. Is he? Is he going to be huge or is he just going to be not huge? He's going to be not huge. Okay. I could put in... See, Bellerin just doesn't get the links. This is tough. This is tough. This is a good... This is a great team now. Other than the left back, this team is really, really strong. And we've got two insane subs in Neymar and Messi, which I'm super chuffed about. We've got both Arsenal fullbacks. We just can't fit them in there. Do we get another good midfielder? No. We get Strootman... How does, no, Strootman's not. Strootman's going to be the guy that I pick, but he's not the guy that I want. Are we going to get a team of the year again? Yes, we are. Oh damn! I have to take Ronaldo. You can't not. And, that, and like, Ronaldo goes up there. <laughs> Messi comes back in. Messi comes back in. That puts us to 87 chemistry, and then we're going to pop KDB back over to the right side. Now maybe we do use Strootman. He actually doesn't help. Because we've got no link to Pastore. That is rough. Maybe put Lanzini in instead. No, we need... Let's, let's, let's see what we get as the final pick before we uh, judge this final uh, position. Yeah, it's, not, it's nothing great. Um, so... What I could do is just play Ronaldo on four chemistry, two chemistry even, play Eden Hazard, 
play KDB over there. Nah, see that like that Dybala link is just too big. Maybe put Neymar in instead of Hazard. I I just don't know. In terms of chemistry, not starting Ronaldo is the best option. It just is. In terms of chemistry, putting um, putting Dybala back in there gets us to 87 chemistry. Putting Neymar instead of Ronaldo keeps us at 87 chemistry. It, like basically, Pastore is going to have to miss out. I didn't pick a guy that can go in there. Like Lanzini can go in, but we lose a chem point. Strootman can go in, but we maintain chem. So if that's going to be the case, we might as well keep what's his face in there. Um, swapping those two around does nothing. Doesn't give him a strong enough link. Yes, it's just, it's bad. It's, it's just bad news, sadly. Ver Ver um, yeah, Varane's on seven chemistry no matter what. D uh, De Bruyne is on seven chemistry no matter what. Doesn't really matter what way around we go. We're not going to get Pastore on... To seven chem, he's not going to get that extra link. Is there anyone here that can help? If see, if I do put Hazard in, and then swap him around, that gets that just doesn't help either. I'm I'm trying to look to get like De Bruyne that extra link, which is just not happening. Let me sort my bench out. We're gonna to have to. Um, we're sadly gonna keep. Not sadly, we, we're just we're going to keep Pastore in there. Doesn't help us too much. Oh wait, I tell you what I can do. Lanzini in at centre mid. Monreal at left back. Boom. There we go. That's a nice big chem boost. That's more like it because then Lanzini gets the seven chemistry. Happy days. Job done. Problem solved. We're only going to get a ninety, maybe an eighty-nine rated squad out of this. Yeah, so it's going to be a eighty-nine rated squad. But I would be happy to take Lanzini off immediately and bring on Neymar and or Hazard the rest of this team is super let's see if we can get the right manager for our troubles he takes up to 94 chem also 94 93 but Ronaldo doesn't need the boost 92 and 96 how about that an Argentinian Liga Santander manager perfect so our defense I mean this is a good team this is a good team we've almost got 100 chem Obviously, a few people are off chem. Messi, 10 chem. Dybala, 10 chem. Ronaldo, team of the year. And De Bruyne, team of the year, 7 chem. So they're absolutely fine like that. The whole defence is perfect. Varane on 8 chem, not really a problem. Ter Stegen, great. Even Pjanic on 7 chem is fine. It, it, it's likely that Lanzini and Pjanic will come off for Neymar and Hazard. And then Ronaldo and Dybala will drop down into the midfield in the second half. But Ronaldo is so good. Maybe Messi and Dybala drop. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do it. We've got a, a great set of players here, guys. Let's get into the action. Okay, guys. As we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 3-4-3 team. Not the greatest for chemistry. And some odd players in there. You know, the right mid, David Silva and Cam Ozil at left mid. But other than that, his team is fantastic. Three team of the years. Gabriel Jesus, Eden Hazard, special card, Rio Ferdinand. You know, it, by all accounts, it's a, it's a very strong team. But the 3-4-3, not the greatest formation. Now, sadly, well, not even sadly, I suppose it depends how you look at it. Uh, I've had to cut out just a whole bunch of goals here today because I scored too damn many. And that is because this attack that I had is just incredible. Most definitely the best attack I've used this FIFA. Um, Lionel Messi, I dropped into midfield quite often. Dybala, I dropped into midfield. So my midfield was uh, team of the season, De Bruyne. 95 Messi and the 90 Dybala in midfield. But look at that pace from Ronaldo. Just outpacing the defender. Making him his biatch. And scoring the goal to make it 2-1. Which obviously is pretty damn fantastic. But in general, guys... Once I dropped those two down into the midfield and took out Pjanic and Lanzini and I bought on Neymar 95 and Eden Hazard 93, it, like just look at that. 6-1, domination. You can see the team briefly there on the screen. Messi, Dybala and Ronaldo remained on that one because they didn't get a rage quit. But the, the combination of those six players in those six positions was just spectacular. The second game we come up against a 94 km 87 rated team, Lukaku. 
Togs, Hazard, Maradona, who I don't see often, another Dybala, he's got Mane in at CDM, Koulibaly, Pjanic, Dalbert, Inform Valencia, Loris and Van Dijk. It, generally speaking, quite a good team. What I was most surprised about this is that he didn't sub out Mane for a proper CDM. If that was me personally, I would have put Mane up front, I would have taken Lukaku off and I would have put a defensive minor midfielder in that CDM spot. I don't think it's wise to play someone like that there. We end up going 2-0 to the good. Like I said, I'm going to cut out some goals. I'm just going to show the best goals. And this is probably my favourite goal of the week, the uh, tournament. Neymar with a beautiful little bit of skill. Pass it into Dybala. Dybala finds Neymar after a little bit of a uh, nice close dribbling there. Neymar with a sombrero flick. The volley on his left peg. And he banged that into the back of the net. So a sensational goal to make it 3-0 into the second round. You can see now it's 4-0. And my opponent has a red card. And you can just guess what came off of that. Like 5-0 with Eden Hazard here. Beautiful fake shot stop. Gets into the space. Evades a slide tackle. Bangs that one into the back of the net. And we got ourselves another rage quit. So moving swiftly on into the semi-final after a big 6-1 rage quit and a big 5-0 rage quit. Coming on in the early stages of the tournament. It's always nice to get ahead of steam up moving into the semi-final. I was intrigued as to what my semi-final opponent was going to be. And it was... Pretty interesting squad again. 93 Hazard, De Bruyne and Pogba in form, Kante and Messi team of the year. Defence is really, really weak and he made a sub quite early on. And what he did is he took off Laurent Blanc and brought on Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, I don't mind bringing Cristiano Ronaldo, but you've got Cabasele and Cresswell in your defence. Play Laurent Blanc at either left back or left centre back and put Ronaldo out front. I don't know why you would like... He would make a decent centre-back. He would make a very decent left-back. Maybe not the greatest pace, but he's definitely better than Cresswell. My second favourite goal of the tournament was that goal right there. Beautiful, intricate passing move there through the midfield and through the attack. And again, again that's why I love that attack. Their ball control, their composure, their ability to move and pass was just so nice. It put us 1-0 to the good. I then made it 2-0 with another nice little 1-2 uh, there between Neymar and Ronaldo. And the finesse shot of absolute dreams. From Neymar, who's 98 slash 99 team of the season is just going to be uh, probably better than Cristiano Ronaldo, in my opinion. This 95 card is so good. My opponent did end up pulling one back, a beautiful little back heel there into Paul Pogba. He then runs off down the line and hits me with that Pog dab. Of course, always, uh, always gets under my skin, but not when people dab on me. Because it gets under my skin in the sense that, okay, you're going to dab, well, I'm going to dab. That's how it gets under my skin. It doesn't bother me in terms of gameplay. We end up going 3-1 up, and as you can see here, we get a fourth goal as well. Neymar with a fake shot stop, finds Cristiano Ronaldo, and it's just beautiful. It's just clean, it's perfect, it's easy. The pace, the agility, the five-star skill moves of the two uh, boys up front with Ronaldo and Neymar there. The five-star weak foot of Neymar, the four-star weak foot of Ronaldo, Messi, De Bruyne coming in clutch. Dybala with that pace, with that acceleration, with that ability to finish. And we come into the final, a crazy good midfield and attack. David Silva we've used a lot. Hazard and Kante both amazing. Aguero and Sanchez very, very, very good. But his defence is a bit weak. He's got Cabral and Godin in, in centre-back spots and... Again, me personally, I would take off someone. I would take off Cabral and bring on somebody else. He didn't. He kept this as his uh, as his two two uh, centre backs, and it just allowed it to be ridiculously easy for me to break him down. We went one nil up. We then go one one with a penalty, and I tell you what, guys, Monreal got a yellow card for a tackle that was one hundred percent a red card offence. I was absolutely certain that he would get sent off. The referee showed mercy. I did concede the penalty, but I then went and banged that long shot from Cristiano Ronaldo to make it 2-1. And the goals just kept flowing again. Game after game after game. 6-1 first round, 5-0 second round, 4-2 third round. De Bruyne there with a finesse shot of dreams on the stroke of half time to make it 3-1. And you'll see here now we move into the 90th minute at 6-1 now. Neymar breaking down the right-hand side. The fake shot stop again. Cuts that into the box. There is KDB to make it 7-1 in the final. And we come away with yet another massive, massive draft win with what was just the best attack I have used all year this FIFA. No consideration. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. Let's get into the packs. All right, guys, we win again. That's now 50 draft entries and 26 wins. This attack, not this attack, the, the, well, not even the attack. It's, hard, it's unfair to say the attack because just the team in general was spectacular these are the changes we made Neymar up top Hazard coming in on the wing that's how the team looked from like half time in the game sometimes I made the changes a bit earlier but this is how the team looked Dybala, De Bruyne and Messi in midfield 
Hazard, Neymar and Ronaldo up front. And it was just the most devastating attack and midfield I have ever used. I know I've used Team of the Year Messi before and he's obviously very good. I know I've used the Neymars before and the Hazard before, but just the, the two five-star skillers up top and everyone having the, the four-star skill moves, the four-star weak foots, De Bruyne, Messi, Dybala. Well, obviously, he has three-star weak foot, but four-star skill moves on all of them. Five-star weak foot on two of them. Four-star weak foot on three of them. It was complete. It was just perfect. And it was so perfect that, as you can see here, I managed to score 6-1 rage quit. 5-0, 4-2 and 7-1. We scored a whole bunch of goals here and we didn't even concede that many by my standards. Only conceding four goals throughout the whole tournament. That's super, super good. What I'm worried about is that when this patch drops on PlayStation, because it hasn't dropped yet, I'm going to suffer and it's going to change things. My average goals per match dropped from a 1.91 conceded to 1.89 conceded. I'm still scoring 4.27 goals per game. We now have 26 wins out of 50 entries. I'm chuffed with that. Absolutely chuffed. Let's claim our prize. Doesn't really matter what we get. I'm happy to just have won another draft. We're going to get ourselves the two gold packs and the two premium gold player packs. Now, we are guaranteed profit from this just because of the types of packs that they are. But unless you hit a big player out of one of those premium gold player packs, you end up making just a bit of profit, you know, three to maybe 8,000. We're going to start off with uh, Keen there coming in from the gold pack. Not bad to get a, a shiny gold card from a gold pack. We'll send those guys all of this into the club for the time being and discard the remaining items. Mostly looking for Udinese players as well because they're currently selling for around four to 5,000 coins. So if we do hit any Udinese players, that would obviously be fantastic. In gold pack number two, sadly, no shiny gold player. Hopefully we get a good shiny gold card. We don't. It's unfortunately a Barcelona badge, which I don't believe has any slash much value at all. Okay, maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe we get a few uh, few hundred coins for that. 700 coins for that Barcelona badge. I've only got three spots left on the trade pile, so I have to be careful with what I'm putting up here. This guy, 500, no bids. So 500 there. I just want to make sure I don't discard a player that I could sell for like three or 400 coins. I know for some people it's like, oh, it's only three, 400 coins. But for me, it's, it's, it's an important amount of coins, man. This is this is not only the draft of glory, but it's also the road to glory. So I've, I've legitimately only got... I've only got two spots, but I've got I can actually send some items back into the uh, club right here to give myself a little bit more space. There we go. So I'll give myself three more spots there. We'll list up the other items that I've got going on and we'll get these last two 25k packs. So can we pick up a walkout, an inform, an icon, any special card, a board player, or is this going to be trash bags for me? We do get a board in the first 25k pack. Spanish goalkeeper, it's Pepe Reina. That's unfortunate. If it was David De Gea, I would have been mad chuffed. But Reina, not the most impressed with. So we get Benteke. Ooh, last year I know this guy was worth an absolute bomb. This year, a few thousand coins still. That's not too bad. Did we get any Udinese players? It doesn't look to be the case. And we'll pop uh, Reina here up onto the trad pile. A couple of thousand coins for him too. Pop him up for like 2,000 coins right there. And Raggy here. I can't... Oh, was an Italian from Monaco. Maybe. Yeah, we get like 700 coins for him. I'll list him up 900. If it doesn't sell, I'll relist. So again, we you know I know we made profit. Not much profit unless we get something huge out of this. But it's just continuous profit over profit over profit. We get no board in the second one, which is quite sad. But uh, hopefully we get a decent low-rated player. Dembele or something like that. We didn't. We also didn't get an Udinese player. We've got an AC Milan player though, and Italian. Yeah, he's worth about 15, no, it's a thousand coins. I'll list him for a thousand. We'll get rid of him for the time being. Um, the rest of this not really worth too much. This guy maybe is worth a little, little four, five hundred. Nope, he's not really worth anything and neither is that guy. So we'll discard the rest. So yeah, once again, dudes, you know, just probably like five to 10,000 coins profit in total there with the players that we got out of the packs. Nothing major. And if you actually think about how many drafts I've won over the last 20, 25 episodes, I'd say over the last 20 episodes, I've won 17 drafts, uh, which is an insane return. The amount of drafts I've won, I've won 26 now, and I've got to the final at least 15 out of the other 24 times that I didn't win. I've never got the coin rewards. 
I've never got a 100k pack. I've barely packed anything of note. Like, the best players I've packed is a few discard win forms. I've never packed, like, a huge player out of draft. So, when people say to me, is draft worth it? It is worth it if you can win it because you just get continuous small pockets of profit. But unless you have super pack luck, you're never going to make millions, which is sad. But 50 entries, guys, 26 wins. That is episode 50 done. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.